Hello, welcome back. Um, today's video is a little bit different to what I said I was going to do. I've been in this flat for eight months now and I've managed to get a sofa, bed, all the normal stuff. But I can't drive so I find I'm getting stuff back from my own back in Kent. And there's one thing that I've been missing for eight months and I finally I have one. And you probably know by the title, but um, yeah. A guitar! And not just any guitar, a Gibson. That's right, I've got the new Gibson Junior double cutaway. And I thought, there's a few more videos up now, but there wasn't an awful lot when I went to buy it, so I'm gonna do one, because I've never done a review video. So, let's open this bad boy up. I feel like I need to name it, my guitar. I don't know what, so if you have uh, any ideas, comment below. Yeah, one of the things when I was getting this guitar, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, it comes in a soft case, oh, I'm gonna have to buy a hard case for it, it's gonna be another like 100 or quid on top. But actually, I mean, it's really thick, like, and I don't, I'm not, I don't, don't tour or anything, I just play for, for myself because I like guitars. But inside is, it's a nice, like, almost like a blanket inside. I mean, if you're small enough, you can probably sleep in it. <laughs> I'm uh, going to do the most annoying thing for, like, every review ever. Oh, you've come to see this. Well, let's skip the thing you want to see and go straight to everything else you get in the box. Don't worry, because it's Gibson's lowest end guitar, there's not an awful lot. But you get the manual, you get the book. You don't get their multi-tool thing because, obviously, it's the lower end one. You get a truss rod adjuster with a screw on the end and an Allen key that I don't know what it goes to because it doesn't go to the bit on the wraparound tailpiece. So you get a Gibson strap and a cloth. I mean, yeah, everyone loves a free strap. I mean, you could always look at it as if you paid £700 for a strap and got a free guitar, if that makes you feel better. And the little tick book so you know that someone's checked it and all the quality is good. And the baby photo of when your guitar was born. So when you screw it up and ding it, you know what it used to look like. But yeah, now back to the guitar. I was really worried about getting this guitar because I'm sure some of you clipped on this, you're probably maybe thinking of buying one or you're just dreaming of buying one, which is still good, I love doing that. But the one thing I was worried about is the quality because Gibson's lower end guitars haven't had the best reputation for being the best quality. But I think Gibson have done it right on this one. With the Junior, they've gone back to what it should be. And a lot of the Juniors in recent times have not been the lower end of Gibson. They've been custom shop reissues and they've been like £1,500, which I think goes against what the Gibson Junior is all about. What the Gibson Junior is all about, to me, is a working man's guitar or woman's guitar. You know, it's a player's guitar because not everyone can afford two grand for a guitar, you know, and it's skipped all the bells and whistles off. And I think a lot of the lower end guitars from Gibson in the past have tried to have too many bells and whistles on. They've had like the robotic tuners, which this one doesn't have. Yes. You know, it's just flat top, you know, an upside down L-shaped routed hole. Everything's mounted on the pit guard, the parts, tone, jack, all mounted on a pit guard and it's gone and it's you know it's not like they've cut corners in places you wouldn't expect they've done it they've done it right so yeah a really annoying thing is obviously I'm not going to demo it today because I don't have my guitar amp which should be coming next week which is a little bit frustrating but I did try it in the shop in the guitar shop just down the road guitar guitar in Epson and it is it's awesome I mean I didn't just go oh that guitar Here's my money. I went and tried all the guitars round about this price point or lower, vendors all sorts, and I still I still love this one. Originally, I wanted the red, the worn cherry finish, and they did they sold it, and now I was looking at this one for a while, and it started to grow on me, and they got the red one back, but I was now sold in this one. This is the worn brown one, and there is a black and a blue one, but I've not seen any of them in the UK. And also on Gibson's website, they just say only the cherry one. They don't say any of the other colours, but there definitely are other colours. This is the warm brown one. Um, where else? Yeah, the pots on this are fantastic. They're not like 
I know it's Gibson's low end guitar, but it is still Gibson. It's good quality. They work. They don't just go one really quiet, two really quiet, five really quiet, five full volume all the way. No, they work really well. <laughs> um, Compensate the wraparound tailpiece um, at the back of the guitar. Um, a lot of people have been like, oh, these are like two piece bodies. All I've seen, they've all been three piece. But, well, that, I'd say two and a half. So you can see there's a seam in the middle here, one, two, and then just on the edge of this corner, I think it's this corner, yeah, you can just about see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's just, just a little bit on here, and then a tiny bit up here. But yeah, it's solid guitar, and I quite like that it's all top round. It means there's nothing on the back. You can see the grain of the wood really nice. It's like a like a matte finish, but not a standard matte finish, where it feels rubbery. It's just, you can feel the grain kind of thing. You can't see it, might be able to hear it. But yeah, and the neck is a mahogany body made neck. So some of them you can get really nice quilting on the necks. Mine's got it a tiny bit, but you won't really be able to see it. And the other thing, looking at Gibson's, is it's my first one that I was worried about is will it come with the Gibson Easy Break headstock? Because a lot of them, you hear horror stories of people dropping their guitar and breaking the neck. Well, maple is a harder wood than mahogany, so hopefully it won't break as easily. Also, as it's a harder wood, it makes it sound brighter, which gives it a different, a different tone altogether. Not altogether, but it just sounds, with the pickup, it just sounds awesome. Uh, Gibson Deluxe Tuners, the buttons. A lot of people were criticizing these. I like them, I think it goes with the ethos of the guitar. You know, affordable for the working human, like it's a player's guitar. Um, also, when I was looking at videos on the internet, the pit guard looked like it was like a, almost like had a grain finish to it. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But actually, it's just the pit guard protection there's like a little protective layer over it but it's just a bit thicker than normal also a lot of people don't like this this like a uh, the pit guard going wrapping around but I like it and it's also necessary because of the way it's routed so I quite like it and it reminds me a tiny bit you probably won't be able to see it but it reminds me a tiny bit of like the Gibson no Gibson Brian May's red special I quite like it and I think the reason why most people are complaining is because it's different Gibson like normally their standard stuff is always Gibson Les Paul and all this kind of thing but this goes back to what the Junior was about it was affordability and doing it the way they used to do it like 30 years ago just doesn't work out the same it's still not affordable enough so doing it this way makes it affordable and it's, it doesn't I don't know if it affects sound because I haven't played a normal Gibson Junior but it's awesome I'm just gonna quickly take this film off so you, we can see it now so I might have to I'll either cut it out or I'll fast forward this bit so yeah I'll just take this off so it is off now if I had any complaint it would be that that was too thick <laughs> the protective coating on that it took a while to get it off from under the uh, the pots and the jack but I managed it. It looks awesome, it really does. There is like a slight direction on the pit guard, it's not, but it is very shiny as now you can now see. <laughs> quite reflective. <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah, uh, it's quite reflective, so it's pretty cool. The only problem is I do think it's gonna be quite a bit of a, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a finger magnet. But yeah, I think I've said everything mostly I wanna say about this guitar. The worries of quality that I had when I was going to buy it, don't worry. I mean, obviously, if I was going to have any anything to say or advice to give you, would be to go try it. Like, I don't quite understand when people spend two thousand pound on a guitar and they've never even tried it. You know, yeah, when you get a guitar, it is like seventy five percent looks in it. It just is, but the other twenty five percent is sound. So you, you try it, you might think it sounds absolutely poo, but I think it's. Awesome, it sounds lovely. This resonates with the guitar. I would strum it, but electric guitars just don't sound cool when they're being strummed. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, £700 for this guitar and this logo, it's awesome. I love it, and I'll see you on the next one.